Hello! Welcome to part two of my Learning Dynamics Reading System Review. I'll give you just a little bit of a recap and then jump into the content here because I had a bunch of people asking questions from the first video and I'm hoping to address all of those here and give you an update on our broader reading journey so that hopefully it's encouragement for other people out there trying to teach kids how to read. So a very brief recap is that my background is in outdoor education and I'm currently a team builder and trainer. I'm very confident and comfortable teaching any number of subjects and it turns out that teaching a child how to read isn't one of them. <laughs> um, it's an area of learning that is completely new to me and so it has been a very steep learning curve for myself. Great personal professional development um, but absolutely new territory and so it's been a bit of a journey. I did a bunch of research trying to find tools when my initial teaching strategy just was not working, was actually discouraging my child. I don't ever, ever, ever want to be responsible for discouraging a learner, especially in the realm of reading. So I looked to professionals, what am I doing wrong, how do I get better, and the learning dynamic system came up on my radar. And so with all the research, I made a confident purchase and was very happy with what I received. So we've gotten rolling with that, we've been teaching the lessons, and I, I'll just give you a bit of feedback as far as what our experience has been so far. The materials continue to be fabulous. Um, one of the big things that I'm loving, 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 the lesson manual could not be easier. I saw ease of use when I did a flip through, but actually doing the lessons with my son, it's so straightforward just read the lesson <laughs> and it has encouragements of you know little stories and say it like this and so you're not just monotonous you know reading something to your child um, it really is interactive it's engaging and they really hit it as far as being able to connect with a young child my son loves the stuff that's in here so the lesson manual has been fabulous um, the little extra learning cards so we have some visuals whether it's you know a character letters, blending of sounds together, all of these tools are great. Um, if I'd say the shining gems in the package, actually let me start with this one, um, the CV, the alphabet song that you see on here should be the alphabet song. So the song that they've created here actually includes all the letter sounds. I know the letter A says A and A. Um, why do we have the other alphabet song? <laughs> so this one is awesome. It not only teaches the order of the letters and all the letters of the alphabet, but it gives your child the sound so that they know what they say. Um, they're learning to read while listening to the song. It's fantastic. Also, kudos to whoever put this particular package together because the people can sing. It's not sugary and syrupy and off key like a lot of children's music is, and I don't know why. Um, it's, it's well produced, so just a huge kudos. The Alphabet song is gold, and the other songs that are on there are great as well. And then these punch cards. These are wonderful rewards, and my son loves earning these. So at the completion of a lesson, you know, when he gets the letter F and has that card to keep, he loves them so much, he now has this little case that he keeps them in, and he plays with them. If anybody, you know, was a kid who played with paper dolls, um, and you remember all the stories that you came up with and, you know, things that you did with them. Um, that's what he does with these. He loves them. And being able to earn the punch cards is great motivation for him to do another uh, lesson. So with that in mind, and I'm just checking my notes here so I don't miss anything because there were lots of questions and lots of things I want to make sure I cover for you. Um, if there's anybody who purchases this and intends to use it as I am following the curriculum as outlined, we are going to complete this within the recommended period of time or you know the shortest period of time possible. If you want to push for that, I think you're going to be able to do it with the system just fine. Um, I will now share that it turns out that is so not my teaching style and I kind of knew that but this was a great reminder. <laughs> so it was a good reflective personal exercise for myself. Um, remembering my outdoor education roots. Uh, outdoor education is often a much more fluid uh, lesson plan style. The world is your classroom, life is your lesson plan. Um, if you take a group out canoeing and there's a group of ducks, then you teach about ducks because there are ducks. If you take the next group out canoeing and there are no ducks, you don't teach about ducks because there are no ducks. You teach about the turtle because there's a turtle. That's how that works. That's very much my teaching style. And so we did do, you know, more formal, all right, today, 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 we're going to keep this ball rolling. 
and then we went on vacation and we weren't doing it then and we kind of did a lesson here and it's not that it fell apart it's just that especially with that vacation interruption I returned to my more natural teaching style um, and it is a good fit for our family so uh, what I've been doing is just sort of taking it as a here's a good window we don't have other things going on do you want to earn another uh, punch card so that's been good um, where I would say there was some room for improvement in the system here. So it wasn't about whether it's this teaching style or that teaching style, but there was just something about this that wasn't quite working. A couple of snags that we hit. Um, snag number one would be the letter sounds, and it had nothing to do with the system, just more my interpretation of it. And so in case anybody else stumbles in this way too, I wanna help set you up for success. Um, the letter T says T, right? It says T. No, it doesn't. It says T. And you have to keep it short. What I was doing was saying T, 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 or for the letter D, 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 D. And then my son got to trying to sound out a word, and if it's T O P, this should be T O P, top. Not that complicated, but I had taught him that it was T O P. And as he was trying to sound it out and I could hear him struggling, he couldn't hear the word that he was saying because of that extra uh that was mixed in. Top, top, top. Um, that was on me. And so I had to go through a learning experience of, oh, that's my fault. I have to practice how I say it so I can teach him how to say it. And then we had that breakthrough of him being able to, to sound out his words much uh, more easily. So if you're reading from here and you see, yes, okay, it's t, 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 just make sure that you're actually going t, 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 or t, 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 and not adding extra sounds afterwards. Um, the other snake that we hit was Pam. And what I mean by that is book one. We did the letters and lesson plans that led us up to being able to read book number one. Um, and my son was so excited, like, this is great. I get to read my first book independently. And then we hit a wall because I know the letter A says A and A, P -a -m. P -a -m. her name's not P -a -m, it's Pam. And so that A, that sound, it, it didn't fit with what he had learned. And it was a huge realization moment that out of all the letters of the alphabet, A is one of the most messed up ones for all the sort of vocal acrobatics that your mouth has to do to say everything from sat to cake to Pam to calm, like all of those, that's all the letter A, but it says so many different things. And if you saw my first video, um, you may remember that that was the first brick wall that we hit, the first, you know, amount of discouragement that was so high, my son shut down, did not want to read anymore. And so when we hit that brick wall again, oh buddy, that A actually says this. I just saw all of the enthusiasm. Um, that may be more unique to our reading journey, so I do not want to discourage people who are interested in the system. Um, for some of you, your kids will just pop over that hurdle, no problem, and keep blazing along. For us, there was other history, so it just kind of shut down learning for a little bit. Um, so that would be one bit of feedback for the Learning Dynamics Company, just if it was Pat, then it would fit everything else in the in the system here. But to make it Pam, just it, it was inconsistent and threw a little learner off. Um, so with that, that was sort of the struggle there. For those of you who are asking if you're teaching multiple learners, is it worth the money to buy additional lesson manuals? or sorry, not lesson manuals, my apologies, student workbooks. Um, my personal answer would be no, and reasons for it, there are some quality issues as far as the images go. Um, just sometimes you come across a page that is very clear, and then one next to it where the um, quality of the image isn't quite as good, it gets a little bit pixely, I'm not sure how well you can see it there. Um, but some of them, it's, it's a little bit more jarring on the eyeballs than others. And then on top of that, because it's primarily activities where you're going, does this start with a letter? Does this start with a letter? Um, you can pay money to get more of these, and it's free to just point around the room. Does that thing start with that letter? Does that thing start with that letter? I think I'm more of a pointer um, rather than a purchaser of additional things for multiple learners as far as the student workbook goes. However, Learning Dynamics scored a home run with these things. I would get in touch with a company. So let's just say if you're in a, a classroom context, you've got 25 students, contact the company and see if you can get 24 more copies of these. Um, the little 
uh, punch cards, they're blank on the other side and it is a writable surface. So kids would be able to earn their punch card and then have their name or a stamp or you know something on the back that helps them know this one's mine, that one's yours. Um, but out of all the elements here, this absolutely I'd say is the next most valuable thing after the lesson manual and the CD there. Um, for the multiple learners, kids love these. So yeah, go that way then and make sure that they all get those in hand. So that is the overall system there. I'll just double check my notes again. And that is looking good. So um, the bigger journey, the broader story that I wanted to share with you and just how we've been overcoming things like that brick wall. Um, this is still an active part of our learning. Just we do it occasionally. Are you ready to earn another punch card? Yes, okay, we'll do the lesson manual. We listen to the alphabet song from time to time. And so it just this is very much still tied in, but we're not following the curriculum. And uh, this isn't the only, sorry, we're not following um, a timeline is what I meant by that. Uh, and so it's, it's part of the package, but then here's the other thing that we're doing. My son was gifted with this book five months ago. He is obsessed with it. He loves Spider-Man, loves the Avenger, uh, Avengers. And just, this is a book that he loves so much. It's been read every night for bedtime, you know, for the longest time now that he has almost all of the story memorized word for word. Now, that's how I learned how to read was these are my favorite stories. We've read them so many times, I've memorized them and I can start to see where the words go. Um, that's how I first started trying to teach before brick wall. And so I thought, oh, he's got them memorized. You know, we'll go back on track to that first teaching strategy. Nope. <laughs> so more personal development, more professional development, more learning for me. Here we go. Um, because he loves this book so much and because he has the stories now so memorized, he's so familiar with them, it's opened up three other reading learning activities that we've been doing and I'll share them with you. So the first one um, is sounding out words. So because he's learned the alphabet, he's learned the sounds um, and the the lesson manual, the little stories, these little punch cards, they've done such a good job. G, 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 goofy ghost. Like he, he knows his sounds so well now. Um, he's been able to find a word and, you know, let's sound that one out together. So we've definitely been able to do that. Um, but something else that we've been doing is word hunts. And so looking at a page, I'll just show you on the cover here. Um, out of all the stories here, one of the stories, out of all the words here, one of these words says marvel. Which one of these words says marvel? And so because of the sounds, he knows, mm, I'm looking for a word that starts with M. Oh, there are two words that have an M. Okay, I have to find an A. And he, he sounds it out and pieces it together until all of a sudden he's going, marvel. This one says marvel. Yes, well done, he's got it. So those word hunts, he's really enjoying that particular activity. And then the other thing that we've been doing is sight words. So, um, so <laughs> with these little words, I researched online, I just looked for, you know, what's a comprehensive list of sight words for children to learn. And then I wrote them out on pieces of paper. And when we read a bedtime story, he's given a sight word that he's in charge of reading. And so uh, the first one that we did was the, and as we're reading along and pointing at each word as we read, he was the one responsible for reading each the until he just recognize, you know, T-H-E is the, and we moved on to other words. We've got a collection on the wall over here that are the words that he's nailed down. A little sign on the wall that says Peter's words, and my son is not named Peter. He loves being Peter Parker, so we've brought in that, that, um, that adventure play, that spider play, um, that he naturally wants to do anyway. So great, you're Spider-Man learning how to read, you're Spider-Man on an adventure that's really resonating with them. So Peter's words, these are things that he's got and now they're up on the wall so he can remember all the sight words that you know he can be proud of, I know these. Um, and because of his personal interest, Spider-Man is so important to him, um, that means that some of our words include Avengers or Peter, Parker, these are longer words, but they matter to him and so they are sort of our personal sight words. He's gonna see them so often, it's nice for him to just be able to recognize them on the spot instead of sounding them out each time. So between what we're doing with the learning dynamic system, what we're doing with repetitive story reading, because he loves it, so of course we'll keep reading it even if 
we're going a little bit bonkers because it's the 500th time we've read it. Um, doing word hunts, sounding some words out. He's responsible for sight words. When he's earned a sight word because he just gets it like that, it goes up on the wall with Peter's words. All of those things put together, we're seeing that enthusiasm for reading, for letters, for sounding things out really spark and come back um, to the point where I'm excited to report um, my son's world is lighting up around him. The books have been on the shelves around him all this time. You know, when we went out, it's COVID right now, so we're not out and about. Um, but when we were out before and he saw, you know, exit signs, um, they were there the whole time. But you see him lighting up now, realizing there are words in his environment. Mom, there's a the. Mom, there's a the over there. Um, it's so exciting to have him realize that those words are around him and to celebrate, you know, he's so happy that he can read them. And the other funny thing is that he's also seeing letters all around him, not just in signs and on book spines, things like that, but there could seriously be a random bit of schmutz that spilled on the floor. And if it falls into this shape, it'll be like, mom, it's a tea. It's like, yeah, that is a tea. And now mom's gonna wipe it up. <laughs> um, whatever shape things are, if it's in the shape of a letter, he, it's like this life scavenger hunt. He can see an A, I can see an S. Um, and he's really happy about that. So going back to my outdoor education roots, when you see a kid who's fired up like that in active learning mode because they're following their passions um, and just you know excited about learning and you're just adding that additional fuel so that they can keep running with that, I'm seeing so many signs that we are on the right track. And so just with that, I hope with all the things that I've shared here, um, that helps you either if you're looking at making this purchase or if you're looking for fresh insight, if you've hit a brick wall, you know, how could we try to get back on track again or match up with my little learners' passions, um, especially if you are in a classroom setting and so you have 25 little learners' styles and you're trying to figure out how to meet each of those learning needs. I hope there was something valuable here for you. And with that, keep the questions coming because I will give another update in a couple of months, just let you know where we're at. Uh, and so I'll respond to questions in the comments. Make sure you write something down there. If you found this helpful, be sure to like the video, share it with other people who might be interested. Please subscribe to the channel. I'll be posting lots more videos as I go along. And I just hope that wherever you are in the world, you are well, and I hope that you have a great day. All the best.